Scott, what's up? How's your project? Oh, hey Andy. No, I've been working on this one VI for for hours now. I I'm I'm at my wit's end with this one. I mean, they, at NI they expect us interns to do so much work. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this done. Dude, it's software, dude. So if you can't figure it out, it's probably a hardware problem. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I gotta run. I gotta get some work done before I head to a few meetings. So I'll right. catch you later, man. All right, man. See you around. Hey, Lawrence. Hey, Ross. What's up? How is he always at meetings? Is he in marketing or something? I wonder what he's actually doing all day. Man, I wish there was a way that we could like follow him and see what he's actually doing all day. Wait a minute. We'll use the Jack in the Box. what he does all day. I kind of expected as much. Hey, Scott here. Hope you all enjoyed that little fun we had. So to talk about the robot and some seriousness real quick, it's actually uh, quite simple to build. We used the box that the MyDAC actually came in as the chassis for the entire thing. We use one half of a uh, soda can as a front skid. Um, we used a dual motor gearbox kit that you can actually buy almost from any hobby shop. We actually got this one from Fry's Electronics. And then a couple of wheels that we, uh, we uh, stole from a Lego kit, a Lego Technics kit. And then as far as uh, electronic circuitry, aside from the MyDAC, we have an L293 H-bridge, soldered up dead bug style, and a uh, one microfarad capacitor. Inside the robot, it's even simpler. We have two uh, four AA battery packs. The two of them are, are wired in parallel, just so we have more current. So we're actually powering the motors with, with um, 6 volts. 
And then the, the four control lines from the H bridge are simply tied into uh, digital I.O. lines 0 through 3 on the MyDAC. Hey, Andy here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. Um, let me take you on a tour quickly of what the software does. So, once we get into LabVIEW, we have a really, really simple front panel. As you can see, we just have a few buttons making up our joystick controls, and then we actually have a uh, video output so we can see what the camera on my netbook sees. Um, the block diagram is just as simple. We basically start by making a digital output port um, and declaring that in DACMX. We then hook it up to a while loop. From that while loop, we read our different buttons and decide on what case we need to run. And based on each case, forward, backward, left, and right, we decide um, what value to send to the MyDAC. Um, of course, there's a stop button, and once that's pressed, uh, it will terminate the application. In addition to the stop button um, and the DAC application, we also thought it would be cool to actually see what we were doing. So we dropped down a quick vision uh, acquisition assistant from the NI Vision module and just wired, a simple wired it to our uh, video output. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, took me about 15 minutes to make. Hope that helps.